Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcoming you back to the world of Mario Power Tennis, the most epic Let's Play in the history of forever. In the last episode, we got things started in the Mushroom Cup with the Waluigi and Shy Guy Duo of Destinies. In this episode, we are going back to the tournament screen so we can start a brand new tournament. We're going to be going into Gig Masters and starting up that tournament as well alongside the regular one. Oh boy, I'm really excited for this because I thought long and hard as to which characters I would want to use for this because I never really had any other characters besides Waluigi and Shy Guy. I thought maybe I should just use them as well, maybe I could switch it up and play it as Shy Guy and then have Waluigi be my partner, but nah, I wanted to go ahead and use some other characters. If you remember from my Double Dash Let's Play, there was a certain group of characters that I was considering using for the LP but I didn't really decide to do it because I just had other characters I wanted to use instead. So I think it would be appropriate to use that character instead because I'm probably not going to get a chance to have them star in their own LP otherwise if I don't do so. And that character is... Petty Piranha! <laughs> Alright, everyone's going to get super angry at how I pronounce his name. Now something kind of interesting about Petty Piranha I didn't know about this beforehand, but it turns out that Petty Piranha's gender actually differs depending on which region you play this game in. In some different regions, he's called Flora Piranha and referred to as a girl. So I never knew that. I knew that there were some characters um, in Mario history that have different genders depending on like where, uh, depending on the region you play them in, like Birdo and uh, Vivan from Paper Mario Thousand Your Door. I know her name is Vivian. I pronounce as Vivan. We'll get onto that topic in a future Let's Play. Um, but yeah, I never knew Petty Piranha was another character. Petty Piranha doesn't like have the same principles as like uh, Birdo and Vivan. Like those characters are uh, transgender and they identify as female. But I, pet I think Petty Piranha is just more so a weird creature that they didn't know what to label it as. They, some people are like, oh, it's a monster, so it must be a boy. But some other regions are like, oh, it has a flower around its head, it must be a girl. So, I grew up uh, knowing Petty Piranha as a boy, so I'm going to be referring to him as a boy. And also, I grew up referring to him as Petty Piranha because I couldn't stink and read as a kid. I thought it said Petty instead of Petey. So for that reason, I'm going to continue to refer to it as Petey or Petty and stuff. But yeah, like I said, we're going to be going with doubles because more characters means more fun. Alright then. Now, just a reminder, Petty Piranha, Wiggler, Fly Guy, and Paratroopa are all characters that get unlocked after you beat uh, the final cup in singles and doubles for all the thingies. So, if you're wondering as to why they aren't on your screen, that is why. But who am I going to be using as Petty Piranha's partner? Well, in Double Dash, I wanted to use Petty Piranha and King Boo as my two characters because I didn't really think I'd get a chance to have them start in their own LP otherwise. But thankfully I got another chance here with Petty Piranha, but we don't have King Boo here, we just have regular Boo. I guess we'll just have to settle for the next best thing then. And that's obviously Wiggler! Ha 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 ha! Yes, I'm not going to be using Boo, I know it's really weird that like I want to use Petty Piranha and King Boo for an LP, but seriously, Wiggler is thinking awesome and I definitely want to make sure that she gets her own LP as well. I didn't think about that at first, but like when I was playing her a bit, um, just before I started the LP, I was just like, I need her in this LP. So yeah, don't worry about Boo and King Boo though, they'll get their time in the sun in another LP. Don't you worry about that. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who's concerned about that, but whatever. So, we're going to be going ahead and using these two characters in the Gimmick Masters. They're going to be going through Fire and Lightning Cup, and then uh, we'll go back to Wario, or Wario, Waluigi, and Shy Guy for their cup. Alright then, let's get things started with the Fire Cup. Now, just as a note, I don't think Petty Piranha, Wiggler, Fly Guy, or Paratroopa could appear in tournaments. I don't know why, but like, I've just never seen them on here, even after I unlocked them. Look how stinking huge these characters are, by the way. And also, I don't know why, but like, when you're playing Gimmick Masters, uh, the screen doesn't disappear. I have to press A to make it happen, but it just gives us more time to just look at how big these characters are. It's stinking awesome. But yeah, we're going up against Bowser and Bowser Jr. You think they would be the final bosses, but nah. Alright then. And our first course is in Rico Harbor from Super Mario Sunshine. Such a wonderful LP that was. Oh, it sounds so weird to hear them saying that. Okay then. So the reason I wanted to play as Wiggler, or the reason I wanted Wiggler to be in this LP rather, 
is a very simple reason. Ow. Who's going he? Is that like a seagull or is that petty piranha? I don't even know. Uh, last time I was playing this, the game was muted, so I'm not sure who's doing that eh, noise, but whatever. Uh, and they're also telling you all the different types of swings you can do with that back down there. Alright then, so what we're going to be doing is... Okay, you didn't really get to see right there, but... This is going to sound weird, just look at Wiggler's butt. Like, Wiggler's butt is the reason I wanted to do the stinking LP with Wiggler. She's just got the wiggliest stinking... You don't really see because we're just dominating, but they just got... She's got a really stinking hilarious butt, just wiggles around every time she moves. It's stinking hilarious and I love it. So yeah, alright. Now, this is Gimmick Master, so obviously there's going to be some gimmicks on the board, as you can see. Uh, the floor has moving tiles every time uh, a ball hits it. And we gotta switch over to uh, player cam. Alright, so every time the ball hits one of those arrow panels, it'll actually move the uh, tiles around, and that can move your character aside just ever so slightly if you're standing on it when it gets moved. It's not the most dangerous gimmick, so if you want to go ahead and play on the gimmick boards or and stuff, I don't know, this is a pretty easy one to start with. And what the heck? Uh, what happened there, Wiggler? I don't even know what happened. Okay, then. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. And Bowser Jr.'s in this game, fortunately. I hate him so much. Why is Koba Kid Bowser's partner in this? I never know. Alright, then. Bowser does a little spin attack and hits the wall, which is pretty funny. Alright then. Now, as cool as Petty Piranha is, I don't like his special for this one. It looks really creepy and stuff, and I really don't like it and stuff. I really want to know who's doing that eh, noise. Oh, by the way, so the most important ability in this entire game is that if you press A while the ball's on the other person's side of the court, you get to taunt. It's very important, and it's also the spawn of many memes, in case you are wondering where the Hi, I'm Daisy meme comes from. It's from this. Okay, she doesn't say, hey, I'm Daisy in this game. My bad. Or was it from Double Dash? Which came first, Double Dash or Power Tennis? Either way, she says it in, the, in those two games. Alright, then. Just gonna go and wait for that. Let's see if we can... Wiggler, what the fruit? I was about to... I didn't get the chance to do this last episode, but I wanted to praise the fact that your partners almost never mess up. They're very smart, and you'll never be in a point where like you don't want to play doubles because you think your partners are too dumb and they're losing games for you that's almost never the case but here we have some kind of iffy partner problems here all right then whatever don't worry about it too much we already won the match let's keep on going all right then and, oh it's gonna be super awkward going up against wario and waluigi i don't want to fight waluigi he's me sort of and it just spoil what the next board's gonna be Boom! Now something I wanted to show off is that look at Waluigi's purple. Like usually I'm not one to just like sit in like a screen just uh gush against, uh, against gush about graphics, but like when I saw like how crisp and colorful all these characters were, like I just like lost it. Like look at this thing in Waluigi's purple. It's just like how it's purple and it's like all deep and colorful and purple and everything. And everyone's got like such nice colors and everything. And I'm clearly making fun of a certain Let's Player who gushes about graphics way too much. But I probably shouldn't do that because I really like that guy and I don't want to make fun of him. Just like make it a reference to it because he gushes about graphics and art direction way too much. It just looks so nice. Okay, now that's taken care of, I'm done making fun of other Let's Players. Here we are on Luigi's Mansion. I love the stinking boards in this game. They're stinking awesome. I don't really like playing on them all the time, but like I definitely like visiting them just for the sake of the atmosphere. All right then, the gimmick for this board are the ghosts. They actually hop onto the field and they'll sometimes mess around with you. They'll grab onto other players and like they'll make you a bit slower. You can get rid of them by having the ball hit the uh, light bulb uh, button on the ground, so that's how you can get rid of them for a short period of time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on doing that. We're gonna hit that. All right, then it's going by really sinking quickly. We are on the game point. I promise. Like I said, the difficulty ramps up a lot later on. Like I said, Kid Midnight wasn't even able to beat this game back in the day, and like I was considering unlocking all the star characters before this LP star. I was like, oh, it's uh, super quick to get through all these tournaments. Sure, why not? I'll just do it. Uh, I couldn't get a single one unlocked other than uh, Wiggler, because Wiggler I went into singles with, uh, singles World Cup with, to unlock Paratroopa, I believe, and I could not, for the life of me, un uh, do anyone else other than Wiggler. I just kind of got lucky in that one instance, I think. 
So that's sort of unfortunate, but whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead with the regular characters. We don't need no star characters to be awesome. We'd be awesome anyway. All right, so let's see if I can show off a special. If Wiggler will allow me to have the ball, or Wiggler's special could activate. All right, the classic uh, signature angry Wiggler <laughs> activates, and he does the Wario Ultra Hand. I wonder if that is a reference to Ultra Hand, or if that's just like a generic Wario cheating tool. Love the angry Wiggler, it looks awesome. All right then, and here's the match point. This match ended really soon quickly. All right, can you go ahead and do that? And yeah, the ghost sort of cost Waluigi the match because he couldn't move over right there. Uh, the DK ghosts also drop bananas, and yes, I call them DK ghosts. If you saw my Luigi's Mansion LP, you know why I refer to them as weird names. But yeah, that was a pretty quick match. All right, I know this is a very weird LP and very short as well, but I don't know. I just love this game so stinking much. I wanted to like have a very epic and awesome reunion with it. Oh, thank God I don't have to go up against Shy Guy as well. That'd be super awkward. But we got new characters that we haven't fought against yet. Peach and Daisy. And Daisy's dead eyes stare in this game. looks <laughs> really stinking weird. Unfortunately, computer players don't taunt, so we won't be able to hear Daisy say, Hi, I'm Daisy! Alright, and we're going to be finishing things off here on DK Jungle. Yeah! Okay then, here we are in the final match. The gimmick for this board are the clap traps. If you end up hitting them by accident when you're hitting the ball across the net, they will actually jump off the net and start running towards you. They'll bite onto you and you can have uh, multitudes of clap traps biting your foot and they can make you slower that way. Uh, the way you get rid of them, you have to hit that Lakitu. I don't know if you, you hit him because like, as you can see, he has like taiko drums. And he's like sort of dressed like the like God of Thunder or something like that. Or does he just do it on his own? Uh, as you can see, he has lightning and he causes all the clap traps to run away. He electrocutes them to death. <laughs> So yeah, kind of hardcore. Maybe we're really running it. Oh, he's just right there. Okay then. Gonna hit that and let's see if we can get it over there. I like all the critters in the background. I like when they acknowledge Donkey Kong Country, like the OG DK Country. There's a nice Daisy butt. I didn't even pay attention to the Peach case. I just got that good old Daisy booty. Okay. Gonna be not inappropriate. We're gonna go ahead and be super appropriate and she hops into the flowers and everything like that. It's super awesome. Alright then, this character has so much more personality, I love this game so stinking much. And the Thought Trap's running towards me, no, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it! Okay. And I still haven't gotten to show off Petty Prime Specials yet, because these matches end way too stinking quickly. As soon as I get it, I'll activate it. And you'll see why I don't really like them all that much. As you can see, the Clap Trap is still stuck to my Clap Trap. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and do that. Oh, Wiggler, you stole the action from me. Alright, apparently she didn't trust me to finish the match. Alright, let's see if I can do it! Okay, here's Daisy's special. Uh, her fan can be in different colors, not really something that matters, doesn't do anything different. It's just that she can have a red flower, a uh, blue flower, and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter, it's a cosmetic thing. Uh, something else to note, if you hit back a power shot with a regular shot while you have your power shot ready and available, you'll actually, you'll actually lose the power shot, so be sure to use it, like, immediately. It might sound weird, but you'll want to use it, like, whenever you're repelling a special shot, if you can. Alright then, there goes that, and we are here on the set point! And we hit another clap trap. Wow, that was super easy. Game and set, Penny Piranha and Wiggler. Second set, my god, that clap trap must sting in her against Peach, because like, she's just like a generic human, doesn't have like any pants on either, just like, just shorts on. Uh, and like, just biting the bare leg, my god, that must hurt. Like the critter back there. Alright, let's do that- Oh, come on, I want to use my singing special! I just want to be special! Ugh. Wow, I hit her in the face. Yeah, playing with the power characters, like, you just see, like, how stinking powerful they are. Like, you could win a lot of matches by just, like, smacking the characters in the face. Uh, they're pretty stinking OP. Alright, here we go. Hit that. And, wow, we're about to finish this match without me getting to show off Petty Piranha's special abilities. How wonderful. Oh, wait, no, there's still one more match after this, so that's good. Come on, let me have the ability. Oh, uh, what the? Come on, they like. Oh, wait, no, that was me? I'm so confused. See, when I'm trying to. I don't even know. Like, I can't focus on gameplay and commentary at the same time. All right, there you go. He eats his racket and covers it in gunk and stuff. It looks really gross and stuff. But whatever. And his special is even creepier. <laughs> Alright, his defense special is even creepier than that. So let's see if we could show that off as well. Or I'll get, like, freaking blocked by it again. Because everyone is just so good. And my partner's so good at uh, beating the game so super quickly. Alright, let's see what we got. Bounce it over there. And hit. And hit. Then the 30. 
know why they call it love in tennis. Like, because it's a circle, it's like a zero, it's like sort of shaped like a heart. I don't even know. It's probably not it, but whatever. We're about to win the championship, and we won't even get to ponder about it any longer because this match is over. Or not. Nah. Okay, then completely ruin that segue, Peach. Alright then. Wouldn't be a midnight beyond MP without ruin commentary, and then that's it. Uh, Petty Piranha has a weird voice. I don't even know. I was trying to think of, like, what do I want to say to this, but whatever. All right, now that's taken care of. Don't delete the save data, because we can go back and forth between the cups. We did it, guys! We did another cup! This is a very single weird LP. It's going along eco for a reason. The cup is on fire! All right, we finished up the fire cup, and I not mean for that to rhyme. Next time on Mario Power Tennis, we're going back to the regular cup, world open, whatever it's called, and entering the flower cup with Waluigi and Shy Guy. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.